Hello everyone, my name is Thor Rhombus and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. Oh my god, that last episode was exciting. Oh my god, I felt so bad for Persona and then she, oh, she just makes my heart turn in so many different directions. Alright, uh, we, we have a glimpse at the, the new palace that they added in. Yeah, I'm, 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 I think I'm prepared to see that. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. So ready. Um, so message from Michael. So today we're going to hang out with, um, Makoto and we'll see what happens. Aiko contacted me. She said she wanted to talk. Uh, I've held off on giving her a solid response yet. Then when I try to ask for more details, she simply says she wants to talk about it in person. If it's okay with you, do you think we can go see her together? I feel I can become closer with Makoto thanks to the High Priestess Persona Sasabaki. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be great, and greatly reassuring to have you with me, Kenna. Uh, Aiko and I will be meeting up at Big Bang Burger. I'll go on ahead and see you there. Is something the matter? So, what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. <laughs> what? It's something real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though. Honest, please. Does this have to do, uh, with Susaka? Mm hmm He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How suspicious. He's lying to you, Aiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Suetaka's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me a princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. What do you think, Kipkun? He says that to all, all of his girls. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, um, no. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go, and go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents say if I try to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said it'll be, I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. <laughs> Iko! You can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm, I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still... S you should still stay as far away as you can from him as you can. So you're not going to help me. <sighs> just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. <laughs> Aiko, wait. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa uh, has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Sutaka has been so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, are you texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It's mostly him texting me. Uh, you have a great... You have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Sutaka is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. It's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. I'll never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. Susaka is all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shijuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. 
Actually... Akko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be able to... Uh, seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Susako in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money is a normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that you're going to help her. Uh, she needs to realize that you're going to help, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much. It's reassuring to hear you say that. I go spy and blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me, but I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I'm so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider others' alternative viewpoints in the, of the world. That, but that's not right the right, right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. It says the deep bond of trust from Makoto. All right. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. <sighs> What's the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. I'll see you again. Or just, I'll see you later. I'm thirsty for info. There's lots to do. What I can, uh, let's do this. I want to finish this up. So I've been thinking over a lot of things. Do you want, do you have time today? I want to tell you something. Go see him. Okay, let's take our time and talk at the park. I'll be waiting. You know, I've been thinking about what Akiyama kun said to me. How I've changed. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Did you find your answer? Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. I mean, you put yourself in a line to stop Kamushita, and probably other villains too. So, I thought there had to be something I could do myself. That was courageous. <laughs> I was only acting out of fear, though. You know, I've always wanted to change. I wanted to go from the dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world-renowned hero. But you helped me realize something important. Heroes aren't heroes because they're famous. It's because they fight for other people. Looking back on it, what I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished, even though I knew it was unjust. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart, right? I didn't do anything. You didn't? I could have sworn the Phantom Thieves made me have a change of heart. Is that so? Huh. No. You know what? You really did change my heart. All this time, I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves, pretending to be a collaborator. And now, I'm finally able to stop pretending. Truth be told, I had given up. I accepted that I was a zero, that my existence was meaningless. But I've learned. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change myself. Whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. I might still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. So, I may not be the best person around, but you can feel free to rely on me at least sometimes. And no matter what the world says, I'll be rooting for you, just like you were for me. Hell yeah, man. I feel a strong bond with Mishima. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee 
infinite power. Salvation wish. Allows backup members to earn the same experience as current party All members. All right. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I needed. All right. You can now fuse Sandolphin, the most powerful persona of the moon, Arcana. You know what? I'm going to find you an awesome request. That's all I can really do for you right now. But I'm working on that documentary, too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. I bet anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. Make it a bestseller. All right, I'm on it. Oh, but before that, I'm hungry. Come on. Let's grab a bite to eat on the way home. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no. We should save that for after I get all my book royalties. <laughs> you better be looking forward to it. <sighs> morning! Oh, good morning. The day Haru is going to be sent off is almost here. We took the treasure, so all we have to do is wait. So I wish we could do something in the meantime. Why don't we go to Mementos today? Uh, I don't feel like it. Hmm? You have something else to do. Well, I won't force you. If the president has a change of heart, maybe our reputation will go up and we'll get more requests. So I want to get the requests we currently have out of the way, at least. Begin? Let's begin class. We'll start with a summary of the previous lesson. Well... Um, Mr. Nui, please come to the faculty office at once. What's all this? Oh, I'm going to the faculty office, so make sure you take this time to study. Kawakami's been kind enough to give us his free time, so we better put it what to good use. What do you want to do? So what's the plan? Let's read. Uh... And... Let's do that. Finish up my kindness. Chief, uh, chiefs don't want want for themselves, but much is expected of them. Wow! I love the sound of the word chief. I'd like to be called that someday too. Oh! So you finished reading. Call me chief. Uh, did you want me to call you chief now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Did you learn more about chiefs and their big hearts? Even in the underworld, or. Uh, there, there's kindness. Is it chefs or no? It's not chef. It's chef. <laughs> God damn! Still not enough for my kindness. Ah. ah, the teacher's back. That's odd. Who made that announcement? At any rate, let's return to our lesson for now. Yep. Whew, that was close. Oh, come and help us get a good chunk of free time though. That request, uh, UG on Taba is up. Sumi. Oh, uh, we can hang out with Taba. Form our battle plan. Step into my office, Kenneth. All right. Okie dokie. Let's get started on this promise list. The first one is go somewhere with lots of people. Ooh, I've got the perfect place. <laughs> Akihabara Wars, Revenge of the Futaba. Mm -hmm. You're going to Akihabara? Be careful out there. Did you see that tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as Inari, though. He's got a particularly pervy view on art. 
Whoa, what's going on? There's a super limited sale at the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal! That's gonna sell out in seconds. Mayday! Mayday! I'm trapped in the home appliance kingdom. The three terabyte war rages on outside. There are just so many people. Yeah, I don't know if I can last much longer. The call cut out. I should go look for Futaba. <gasps> there you are. I... 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 Uh, I was about to come find you. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I didn't think I was gonna see you until the end of the time, but then I thought about you while I was wandering around the store, and bam, a wild Kenneth appeared. Uh, good to see you again. So, you're relieved. What an incredible coincidence. Me too. Hmm? Hmm? Wait a tick. I just finished a promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Well, am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three terabyte war, though. Oh, and because you brought me here too. <laughs> I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. I can sense Futaba's instant joy. All right. Hell yeah. I don't know though. I panicked hard when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary, Skinner. All right. All right then. I'm gonna add another goal to my list. Being okay without you around. It might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. Whew, I'm tired. Okay, going Come on, home. let's go home. Hey, it's me. Thanks for your help today. So I beat the go somewhere with lots of people Go First try, two. Not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to beat being okay without you around. But at this place, pace, I'll clear it in no time, right? We'll both do our best. Woo! I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are. I'll take them all. Anyway, I guess the point is I gotta grind for now. Leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm gonna do a little research, see if there are any other ways I can power up. <laughs> this is all things kind of exciting, huh? Talk to you later. Ah, you're back. Hey, soldier. Girl. Any changes, Haru? Nothing. Unfortunately, father is still indisposed. How are things with you, Haru? Has anything happened with the media? I hope they haven't been horrible to you. Thank you. They will surely say a great deal about my father, but I am determined to push through it. Society doesn't care what may be going on as long as it's enough to kill their per per perpetual boredom. They don't even consider how the words may hurt others. They think caring about people is someone else's job? Makes me want to puke. There's nothing we can do about that, though. And everything they say about Father is true. But it's important to remember there was someone else in the, the shadows behind the shutdowns. Until we can bring their crimes to light, this won't end. We'll find a true couplet for sure. Couplet? Yes, couplet. Naturally. Yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a good victory when we expose that criminal for who, they, who he really is. Either way, we'll need to wait for Haru's father to recover. There's plenty of time to ask, uh, uh, ask him about it. The one behind the mental shutdowns. It has to be someone dangerous. Now that we're getting closer to the truth, we need to be ready for absolutely anything. New move assistance. Is your room messy? Well, Kawakami, I like to think that my room is messy. But I just don't know. Let me... Let me see how far I am, actually, from... Damn. Okay, so they kept her the same. Uh, we will hang out with, um, Kawakami. Is your room messy? Are you hungry? Give it to Becky. Or wait, did you need to request me? There's something I want to talk to you about. Let's hang out with her. Thank you very much. Wait for me, master. Hey, hey! I actually really like the antique feel of this room. But I have to say goodbye to it today. Um... 
Thing is, I've decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Taisuke Kun's guardians keep increasing their demands, so this is just what I have to do. Is this really what you want? What I want? Taisuke Kun's guardians say the only way, true way to apologize to Taisuke Kun is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? If that's what you decide. If that's what I decided. But did I really decide it on my own? Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still feel the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. Take a look at yourself. Baker Kun. Oh, that's right. So the way to make uh, to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I want to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now, I spend all my free time at part-time jobs, just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I can make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Taisuke Kun like this. M mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Taisuke Kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. And that's that, and that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Be confident in your answer. You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. Do a call company's trust in me and strengthen me. All right. I've been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students, especially to you. I've rooted my eyes from you because you were labeled, just like Taisei Kun was. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you! That kind of line only works from someone old enough to handle his own household chores. But thanks. I'll speak with Tais uh, the, the Taisei's. I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Alright, it's time for Thanks. me to go. Thank you. See you later. Good night. Oh, is this Master? Thank you so much for today. Oh, wait. I was supposed to stop working as Becky by today. To be honest, I always kind of knew in my heart I couldn't go on like this forever. I felt so st stuck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I actually figured out what I needed to do. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Come on. You realize you can't feed me lines like that anymore. But I haven't given you any proper appreciation yet, so thank you. Really. Go to bed early tonight. Like a sleep is basically poison for the body, for your body and mind. Okay? Good night. Hey. Hmm? I become I became a demon to find my own path. Mm. Stories about great people from the past, huh? I'm just a little suspicious of how true they are. Oh. I still got time to read. Let's go a little further. The desire for knowledge leads to an unexpected end. Seems like you're getting through that book quickly. That guy on speed reading really helped. Well, how far did you get? Textbooks open to Picking up from last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries, too, were then re re uh, 
reviled as despots and executed by the public. Many people were executed during the French Revolution. The fact that many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. Becker-Coon, take a look at this. It's a guillotine. Yeah. What is the answer? This is a guillotine, a tool for which allowed for mass executions. Now, do you know who invented this instrument? Uh... Joseph Ignitz guillotine? Yeah. This is it. Correct. That's correct. The tool is named after him. By the way, Charles Henry Sanson, the famous executioner, is said that he killed 2,800 people with the advent of the guillotine. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution, regardless of one's social status. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. No oh, really? Nice going. Yes, thank you for my ego boost. I needed that. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. It's a common tale. A social reform that doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. Baker Kun, please come to student guidance office. Baker Kun, please come to the student guidance office. Hey! That's something like Kawakami. I wonder what's up. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Taisuke Kun's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. I'm quitting my part time job too, although I'm still in talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher. No matter what others say, I will answer. So thank you for giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Miss Kawakami, you have guests. The Taisuke's are here. What? They're here? At school? How long are you going to make us wait? Him again? We're talking here. How rude. I guess the student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. You thought you could just, uh, you could just call and say you're not going to pay anymore. Who do you think you are? You know. That's what I decided, which I said you couldn't say. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him who... So you're just trying to get out of your responsibility. I bet you don't even care about ta uh, Taiki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we sh really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused a student to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take a legal action, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. I decided that that's the best apology I can make to Taisei Kun. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Hmm. Along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, about your little stint as a sex worker. What? How did you... Oh, so I'm, so I'm right, am I? What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from just a, a teacher's salary. Well, shall we head on over to the faculty office? Stop. Please. Ha! Huh, a teacher working in the sex industry. You definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taiki's matters unsettled. You know what you have to do, right? Pay up! You know what call us again with this garbage about stopping the payments. Uh, <sighs> Guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. I can't give up. I know, but what am I supposed to do? What about these phantom thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, that's impossible. <laughs> uh, I need to do something for Kawakami. I can't do this anymore. What are their names again? Who? The Taisuke's? The husband is Toshio-san and his wife is Hir Hiriyomi-san. I can never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? Please don't. A Shujin cheat teacher asking the fan thieves for help would be... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you why I decided it, and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. Yeah. <laughs> Class is about to start. I need to go. <sighs> I need to do something about uh, the targets for Kawakami. Hmm. 
Hey, should we tell the others about the target mementos? Not yet. Uh, we'll go and hang out with Makoto. I will probably do it in the next video. Uh, so I've been thinking about all the different ways I can save Aiko, but the best method would be getting evidence on Tsukaka's misconduct. That's the cliche I keep coming to, so I'm thinking of asking around in Relax District. It's okay with you. You think you can help me out? Go help her out. Uh, thank you. If I, I'm sure this will go well if we do it together. Aiko's working today, too. To get our evidence, I'm going to persuade her myself. Well then, let's meet in Shijuku. stories online about horrible hosts like Tsukasa all the time. However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Eiko. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Alright. Start with you. What do you want? You don't like couples coming in together. I'm looking for someone. You want to, go sa you want to sabotage your business? I'm glad we talked about this more out back if you want. Hey! We should get out of here. I think it would be better if we asked someone else. Hey man, I got a great club for you. You mean my couples in. Wait, are you a high schooler? Some of you look like. Heh, what a good joke. You're exactly the kind of person we like. Come right this way. You know Sukasa? Sukasa? Oh, see a host or something? Sorry, but I never come up for a host club. Are you pranking me? Come on. I can't talk to you forever, you understand? <sighs> But you come to a club, we show you a good time. I mean, you have the money though. You seem like a poor young kid. Look for a host. A host? What the fuck? Let's talk about a host in front of me. Let's Did go. you notice this? Though it seems like there's a story behind that, hey. Try asking him another way. You bastard. You a friend of his? I'm not. He's using the sake ball trick. Let me make it clear for you. Get that girl out of there. Because it's known for wrecking lives, he breaks a uh, sake, sake bottle that ends up selling the girls who pay it back. Same thing happened to one of my friends. Damn it. We have proof now. Come on. It's almost time for Echo's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. That's a dirty trick. What do you want? Hey! Aiko, your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt, then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he pro he's probably doing it in conjunction with the criminal gang. You need to get out of there. You seriously came all that way to here to tell me that? Ugh, get out of here, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Tsukasa uh, has lied about to about a broken sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please, reconsider this rela relationship. Shut it! I already have a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club, so stay out of my way. Yo! Did I make you wait, babe? Came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Hey, yo. I know these guys. Wanna hop on over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast. They are saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like, how you get the girls in debt and then force them to sell themselves? They're lying to me, right? Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me. Nothing like that's happening here. I never lied to you, princess. Hmm. It's always princess with you. Why didn't you ever call her by her real name, Tsukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Tsukasa? Ha! What are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I can never forget you, Makoto. I see. I knew it. I'm the one who texted you. I'll be, be five minutes late today, baby. Uh... I even added tons of emojis at the end to make sure it seemed like I go. I admit it, every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember the names anymore. Don't you see, Aiko? This is who your boyfriend really is. But, but, you tricked him! What would you know about love, huh? Sukasa's is all I have. Just leave me alone, bitch! Damn! What? <laughs> Wake up! You already know the truth, you just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. But is the only one who cares about me. Nobody else asks me about my day or how work is going. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. 
perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations could never know how I feel. Stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit. This has nothing to do with being an honor student. I just can't rest knowing there's such evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. <laughs> As for you, apologize to Aiko and stay away from her from now on. Huh? You're really starting to ignore me with this shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll go easy on you because of your chick. I'm gonna teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you! You fights with me. What? What was that, you bastard? Kenneth. I come from a long line of police officers. If you really want to start something, be my guest. What? <coughs> Damn it, I'll remember this. He wasn't so tough after all. Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> Aiko! Whoa, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with the host? They were really going at it. People noticed what happened. We should get out of here. You're right. Right, staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. Aiko. <sighs> I can't believe I actually hit one of my friends. That was the right move. I see. Really? I hope so. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but get swept up in emotion. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. That's not the proper way to act, though. There's no telling what would have happened if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, um. That side, this place is interesting. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. It's a popular meeting spot. Is it really? <laughs> Imagine you've encountered a great many people here then. Some of those people probably lead lives I could never even dream of. Honestly, spending time with you and getting to know Aiko has given me a great deal to think about. There's so much you can miss by living your head leaving living <clears throat> by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I knew how the world worked, but the more I spent time with you guys, the more I realized how naive I was. But... I see now that there are some things I need others, other people to teach me. Do you remember how Aiko said I would flunk a test about love? Well, um, I don't know how to study that subject. What should I do, Kenneth? I should choose my words carefully. <clears throat> I can't learn about romance by myself. You'll find someone someday. Yes. Right. People say those kinds of things are destiny anyway, so I probably shouldn't worry myself over it. Besides, I should try... <clears throat> I should at least try to focus on my schoolwork right now. Let's work hard to achieve our goals together, Kenneth. And this is a strong bond of friendship for Makoto. Protect! All right. Kids down with your little heart to heart yet? <clears throat> My voice is actually going, so this might be this one and the next one might be my last uh, videos for today. Sorry about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. Just a glimpse into the fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. It's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. It makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, right. Um... Well, we should be going. All right, then. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later. Hello? Are you good to talk right now? There's something I really want to tell you. I think between us, we managed to help Aiko see the truth. I'd probably never have pulled this off alone. Thank you so much. I do ain't, and no problem at all. <laughs> Thanks. I'll work off that debt through the Phantom Thieves. I'm thinking of calling Aiko once she calms down a bit, but I, I wanted to get a courage boost from you f before I did. Yep, that helped. I think I can talk to Aiko properly now. I really am glad I got you in my corner. I'm lucky to have such a reliable leader. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ah. 
are back. All right, who's up? Oh, oh, clear. Well, just her. I think don't I have a fortune persona. Yes, I do. All right, let's go hang out. curious about you, so I read your fortune. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card kept appearing. Last time I felt that you were having trouble with women, but I sense something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Do a verification test. You're here for the verification test, right? Well, I'm closing up shop today. However, could we discuss another matter? Until I become... Okay. Yes. Hang out with her. Thank you very um, much. I'm closing up shop, so please hold on. What else? <sighs> Pegasus, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I ha see have an extremely high accuracy rate, but I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? Uh, you realizing that now? It's not that, I just need some time to accept the reality. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. I always concluded that it was something beyond our control, almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the um. world. How can I become one of those people, Bakerson? Uh, trust in yourself. What? myself instead of my fortune telling I never thought of it that way before the city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations there was nobody like you back in my hometown in this country Bakerstein but it was a small traditional downtown deep in the mountains populated almost entirely by older people it sounds so peaceful during the winter it's practically in inaccessible due to all the snow that alone should tell you volumes <sighs> The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Uh, not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... Doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to become to come to the city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my However... own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm willing to confront the fate, the fate head on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. The chairman? Oh, um... Oh, so, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. Uh, it all depends on you. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continuing exchange, at least until I manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. I can sense her motivation. Rank four. All right. Well then. Thank you for today, Baker Sam. Until next time. Good night. Um, I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost, but talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. I didn't do much. Oh, nonsense. That couldn't be further from the truth. Talking to you helped me realize what I should be really doing. Uh, I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Bakersan, I'll be... Bakersan, I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on. Even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate, but I will, I will figure out some way to make it happen. Hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Hers is going to be a little bit difficult to do. 
the fam thieves are doing it, then it shouldn't be a problem. Really, though? Who are they? If I met them, it would be love at first sight. What are they waiting for? Hurry up and do it already. Heroes have an obligation to rescue the weak. Not all the time. We could leave you to die. Slump continues. Um. What's today's date? Four more days left. I could. I could wait until there are three or two days left, and that way I go in, do it, come back, hang out with Kawakami, and everything will be fine. So I think that w that's what I might do. So, um. I'm gonna take a good break uh, for playing this for now. Uh, without further ado, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with family and friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.